Good morning. I'm at the top of South Wales. I've come up for sunrise. I don't know if I need my head red or what, but I tell you what, this is pretty much as good as it gets for landscape photography in South Wales for sunrise. When the light's right, we're at, oh, the wind's just dropped. Oh, thank goodness for that, I can hear myself. Uh, <laughs> it's ridiculously windy. I'm just walking up to Penavan now, which is the highest mountain in South Wales. Uh, 886 meters, I believe it is. I'm just walking past Corn D, which is the first of the, uh, the many peaks to the Brecon Beacons, you'll see behind in the background there. Oh, the wind's dropped. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, I can't believe it. The wind was absolutely ridiculous coming up. Well, it was all right coming up one side. As soon as you get to the top, it hits you in the face. Maga, it's ridiculous. So I'm going to try and get to the other side of Pendervan for sunrise. The sunrise typically is in that direction over there. I mean, with all this light dusting of snow the mountains had, it's going to make some really, really awesome texture in the foreground and in the distance. So... Hopefully with the light. I'm confident we will get a nice sunrise. Oh, here's the wind again. I'm gonna regret not bringing my kite. It has to be said that Penavan is the friendliest mountain in the world. No matter when you come here, you'll bump into people. Like I've just bumped into the two chaps down there. Old chaps been up here before me. And they are so friendly. Walking people always are, but every time you come up to Penavan, you'll meet the friendliest people. It's incredible. So don't be afraid to come up pen a van on your own, because you'll never be on your own. <laughs> Whoa! What heck? I'm literally leaning coming up here then. The wind was blowing me sideways. <laughs> Down there. <laughs> that was ridiculous wind. I mean, look. Can you see that view? That's insane. In any weather, this place is ridiculous. Boys, me made the summit. There's no one else here, which I have to say, in all my times climbing Penavan, I've never been up to the top when I've been the only one, especially in the snow. Okay, so I'm at the location I want to do my shoot. Uh, it's extremely windy, so it's blowing constant clouds, uh, fog, mist, haze, but either way you can't see. So I'm going to set the tripod up and pretty much guess where my composition is going to be and wait for the, the clouds to break and then hopefully, hopefully that will correspond with sunrise. Uh, sunrise is probably in about 10 minutes, so there's no pre-sunrise glow this morning that's for sure in fact as i'm talking to you it's gone completely it's, the whole of wales has just disappeared in front of me <laughs> oh man it's magical up here whoa <laughs> it's not a good place to stand in the wind quickly. Well now it's sunrise, as you can see, <laughs> the sun, you can just kind of see, you can see, just see a tiny bit of the sun there and then it clears and I think brilliant, something's going to happen. So I've got the camera set up where, I, pretty much where I want um, and oh it's clearing again. So I don't know, maybe when the sun gets above that bank of cloud at the bottom, maybe we'll get a bit of a, a bit of colour. But I've got the camera set up F11. Uh, ISO 200 and I'm one second shutter uh, with a polarizer on, no other filters, um, don't really need anything. I I mean look at the texture, all the detail here. I mean make a really really nice panoramic. I mean there's so much detail going on but I think what I'll lose in the panoramic is, is my foreground subject here which is this really really nice rock. Um, yeah so the sun's starting to come through now so I've got a two second timer, single shot. Uh, F11, one second, ISO 200. Fingers crossed. I 
Well, I'm trying to video this as well as catch the, the light because I've never seen light like it. Absolutely glowing the mountain. Unbelievable. The whole mountain is glowing. So I'm gonna put the camera down here quick. Right. Okay, so just going a bit frantic really. I was wandering around looking for a different composition because I didn't like where I was. So I'm gonna try and get a panoramic of it. I am hoping and praying we haven't just seen the end of that light because I've managed to get the camera leveled, set up and uh, oh, I think you can see the light's gone down because the exposure's, Instagram's dropped. It might come back again. I've got a bit of foreground interest now. So I'm using, as you can see, using these rocks and the grass, the frozen grass that's growing over it and hoping it lingers on and again, I'm, I'm gonna drop it down to F11 um, because obviously the background doesn't need to be sharp because you can't see anything um but it please 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 let me have that light again here it comes again Woohoo! look at that light i've got set up for a panoramic now so I've, it's, it has just changed my settings quite a lot though so this is another one of my shouldn't be here should be in the office photo shoots but this is worth it so i'm going to give it another 20 minutes hang on before, it's half eight now, so the, the sun is at the height I wanted it to be. If you can see the colour there. Look at that. That's epic, isn't it? I really want to swap lenses. I keep going to put the uh, 5140 zoom lens on. Wait for the light to come out and just pick out some detail. But as soon as I go to do that, get a break in the clouds and uh, it lights up again like it's just doing now. It's absolutely incredible. The light is just, I mean, I mean, dark night again so you guys can see. There we are. So every now and again, the light just comes through there and I'm frantically just trying to change different foregrounds. I've, I've moved the camera two or three, I've missed that light now. Gutted. Oh, look, 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 look. Look, 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 woohoo! Yes! Get the shot, guy, get the shot. I'm underexposing this one a stop just to make sure I don't lose any light. Any, oh, gorgeous. Right, I'm in sniper mode. I've put the uh, 5140 lens on. I'm just sitting, waiting for the light to come down and light pieces of the uh, sides of the mountain. I've got one or two shots, but it's really difficult because as soon as it focuses, the, as you can see now, it's completely gone again. As much as I'm struggling to prize myself away from this location, it's still awesome. It's about half past nine. I really need to go to work. And it looks like the, actually the lens on this little vlogging camera is frozen up. I'm going to take a few more quick snaps here and then I'm going to head off. So I'm going to only say thank you very much for watching the video. I uh, hope these photographs have... I hope I've not let you down with these photographs. You'll know by now if they've turned out or not. But the light is coming through there, lovely, this little valley here. So I'm going to take a few snaps here. I'm going to head off to work and the uh, vlogging camera's about to die. So I'm going to say bye. Thanks very much for watching the video and uh, appreciate all the support once again. Please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks so much.